Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make bootable partitions on your hard drive so that you can run any version of Final Cut Pro or any of the operating systems, including the new Lion operating system, which is coming out soon. First of all, let's open up the Finder. And we're going to go to Applications, Utilities, and we're going to open up the Disk Utility. What you're going to see here is that there are two hard drives installed on my system. One is Macintosh hard drive. That's the way it normally comes from the factory. So you're going to probably find one on your system that's labeled Macintosh hard drive. That's your system drive. This is a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I've installed. It's already been erased. What we're going to do is we're going to create three new partitions on this hard drive. Partition number one is going to be a bootable clone of my current Mac system drive running Final Cut Studio 3 under the Snow Leopard operating system. Partition number two is going to ultimately boot to a fresh install of Snow Leopard in preparation for the download and install of Final Cut Pro 10 from the Apple App Store on the day of its release. Finally, I'm going to leave partition number three empty for now, but I'll be prepared to eventually download and install OS X Lion on July 9th from the App Store. And once that's running, I'll download and install Final Cut Pro 10 on that partition as well. When that's done, I'll be able to run any combination of Final Cut Pro with any version of OS X with just a simple reboot. So let's see how we accomplish this. First of all, we click on the new drive and we go over here to partition and the first thing you'll see is that under the current volume scheme there's one partition we're gonna go and change that to three partitions and now we're gonna label them appropriately this is my labeling scheme you might think of another one but here's what we're gonna do this one is partition one and I'm gonna call that Snow Leopard SL, and this is going to be Final Cut Studio 3. The next one is going to be Partition 2, and we're going to put Snow Leopard in there, and this one is eventually going to become Final Cut Pro X. And then the third one, partition number three, partition number three is going to be Lion. Running Final Cut Pro X. And now that we've done that, we've labeled them all. Three equal sized partitions are going to be created. We're going to hit apply. And this creates the three partitions and formats them all in one step. Doesn't take long. Almost done. It's working on the third one now. And we're complete. We've got three partitions now. And the next step is that we're going to be cloning our system drive to partition number one. That's going to be this one which is Snow Leopard running Final Cut Studio 3, which is what I'm running currently. That's what you're going to be cloning to your partition one as well. Okay, let's see how we do that. Go over here and I'm going to open up Carbon Copy Cloner now. We're going to select the source, which is going to be the Macintosh hard drive. We're going to select the target, which is going to be partition one. Everything else is going to be set the way that it comes from the factory, we're going to use the defaults and we're just going to hit clone. Don't worry about this. It's telling us that it's going to delete things from that partition. That partition is already empty. So don't worry about that. Just hit continue. You're going to have to type in your 
Apple password. Hit OK and we're off and cloning. That's going to take quite some time so we're going to come back and take a look at that when it's done. Okay, it's just about an hour later and the clone of my working system drive to partition one is complete. The next step I'll take is going to be to install OS X Snow Leopard to partition number two. Then I'll use Apple software update to update to the latest version of Snow Leopard. Then I'll be ready to download and install Final Cut Pro 10 as soon as it's available. Later, once the new Lion operating system is rolled out and available for download from the Apple Store, I'll have partition number 3 ready to install that. Finally, I'll download and install Final Cut Pro 10 to partition 3, completing the process. At that point, I'll be ready to run any version of Final Cut under the old or newer version of the operating system, whenever I choose. If you follow these instructions, you'll be able to do exactly the same on your editing system. In the meantime, this is David Rothweiss wishing you good luck and good editing.